everybody, this is Jack, and today we're reviewing the Lionel G Gauge Polar Express train set. Uh, it comes with the engine and the tender, and two train cars, the coach car that the, uh, that the hero boy was in, and the observation car. And it also comes with two figures, but I couldn't find the other one in the box, so... Uh, so we just got the conductor here, um, and the remote. This is, er, right here it has forward and reverse. If we turn it on, the light comes on, and the whistle and the bell. And if you press this, um, it uh, has the sound effect uh, for the conductor. So, er, I'll show you er, all the things about it in just a minute, but first, but for na er, but right now, I'll just show you all the features about it. Okay, here is the engine, the figurine, and the tender. Um, now, this is just one of them. It comes with two, but I could only find this one in the box we had it in, so only this one here. Um, the other one is the hero boy, but here is the conductor. Um, he's got a nice suit and a lantern, just like in the movie. Um, and uh, he's got his hat and his mus and his mustache. And to you, sir, I must say, I like your mustache. So he's a nice, detailed figurine. He might be hand painted. I'm not sure because a lot of Lionel figurines are hand painted, but this one might not be. It's made of a kind of stretchy, uh, rubbery plastic material here. See, um, so you got to be careful with that. Um, so now on to the engine. Um, the engine here. It's got a working headlight here and two reflector things. They're green, but they don't light up. They're just reflectors. Here, um, the bell is also made of the same thing and the bell holder as the conductor, so at some point this broke, um, but that's fine. I guess sometime we could super glue it or something, but we tried it once before and it didn't work, so be very careful with that. Also be careful with the engine in general because it is made of plastic, uh, just like everything else, um, and it's not super, um, not super tough. So if you drop it, uh, it might break. Uh, it's not very detailed around the boiler and stuff, or around the this area, uh, but that's er, but that's fine because G gauge is usually for beginner model railroaders or little kids so uh, but it's Christmas so here you go because this is the one we got um, so uh, here uh, one one of the only problems I have with this model is here um, the real Polar Express is a Berkshire a 284 this one is a 282 Mikado and right here, there's six sand spout pipes, but in real life, there's five. But other than that, it's pretty nice. Um, it's almost entirely symmetrical. Um, so everything that's on this side is pretty much the same on the other side. On the top of the boiler, there's this. I don't know what this is. Someone please tell me in the comments if you can. Um, and this here's the smokestack and the, er, the steam dome and the sand dome a holder for the whistle and two steam release valves the button that turns it on and this area above the the firebox and on the, on top of the cab there's three doors but they don't open um, so don't try opening them here on the back there's a knuckle coupler. The windows are open on the cab. 
and inside the cab there's a speaker and a red light that lights up for the fire and right here there's the plug for the tender because it's battery powered so you're by C batteries so if you have a power outage it's fine you can use this whenever as long as you have the batteries um, but it, it does come with batteries so don't worry about buying them until the you don't have to worry about buying them until um, you run out of yours and uh, if you have them and the ones that come with them run out uh, now on to the tender um, here the plug comes out uh, just like most plugs um, like the engine it has uh, um, two or two little wheels. Um, the real one on on the real tender, it's three axle trucks, but on this one it's two. But other than that, it's fine. Um, a bit stubby, but fine. But it's fine. Um, here on the top, nice or er, detailed coal load, and the water fill cap, and the switch kind of that opens it up just grab it and take it off here's the C batteries it takes six of them so ha make sure you have six and it comes on or it comes on and comes off easy so there you go there's the engine and tender also it says Polar Express on the side and it has hand ra er, handrails. So, there you go. Okay, now for the passenger cars. It comes with two of them, um, but I bet you could go on eBay or something and buy some more if you want a longer load. But I'm not sure how much the engine will pull, so you might have to look that up or something um, before you buy too many if you plan on getting extras. But here, they're nearly identical. This one has a lot of people in it here. But this one, of course, only has one because it's the observation car. There's Billy the Lonely Boy. And on the observation car, there is footsteps and a place to put the Hero Boy figurine. But it won't work with the conductor because its peg on the bottom of it, the peg hole on his shoe, um, won't go on it. And if you do want to put him there, you still can put him there, but it won't quite look right. See? Because his peg is on the other shoe. But right here, of course, the, reasons, the reason there is... Footprint, footprints there. Secret. So here's the hobo with his fire er, to talk to the boy. And then it says Polar Express on the side. It has the light back here. I don't know if you could make this light up somehow, but if you could. Um, I bet it would look really nice, um, this light. And there's pegs uh, on here for putting figurines there. And right here it has P for Polar Express. And it, it's completely symmetrical, except on this side it doesn't have the Bi Billy the Lonely Boy silhouette. Um, the main passenger car is almost exactly the same. Except it doesn't have the hobo on the, on the roof or um, footsteps or anything. Um, on both cars, though, on each side, the doors open, um, but it doesn't open up to anything. So, not really something super impressive. But here, here's the door uh, with the porthole window and the handbrake. Um, says Polar Express, but this one has lots of silhouettes. Same thing on the other side. I can er, like, I can barely tell which side is the front or back. And it might have it backwards right now. But this door opens up too. So, 
There's both cars, the whole set for you. Please help me, get me off of here, help! To turn it on, you just press this button here, and it's got some nice sounds for just when you're, when you're just parked. Uh, just sitting there, uh, some clanking occasionally, <laughs> and some, uh, some sounds of the boiler. So, time to run this thing. First here, here's the bell, the whistle, and the conductor talking. So, there you go. Now, time to go! Just like in real life, but if you're trying to stop at just the right time, you gotta really go slow. Uh, so that's really the only problem I have with its operation, but right now, we're going down the hills, <laughs> so yeah, th this, uh, this is top speed. Uh, it comes with... 12 pieces, uh, 12 pieces of track uh, for curve track and four straight tracks. But one of them is lost, and of course, you can't make a perfect oval loop with only three straights. So I had to make it two. But yours would be bigger if, or if you if you could find all of them. So, yeah, it takes time to, to get going and to stop, just like in the movie, or just like in real life. But, so, that, that's it. So, see you in my next video. Bye!